It's a new day and new excitement. Millions of fans wonder if the underdog Tigers can shake off the effects of Bob Gibson's 17 strikeout. Some of these fans are enjoying the luxury of today's modern baseball stadium. For St. Louis, Nelson Bryles, a 19-game winner, is on the mound, and Willie Horton's the batter. It's the second inning. Willie's not tense anymore. He strokes this one smooth as silk. A towering blast that sends Brock racing way back, but to no avail. A home run, and the Tigers lead one to nothing. In the third inning, enter a new hero, Mickey Lowley. Mickey comes to bat and hits a home run. Was Mickey ever surprised? Between the shock of everything, uh, the first base came up right in the middle of my stride, and I stepped right over the top of the base, and I had to go back and, you know, touch the base, and then Wally Moses says second base is that way, so I had to start running in that direction. I've never hit a home run in the 10 years I've been in professional baseball. The best I've ever done was a triple that Tony Canigliero tried to shoestring, and I have hit two legal doubles that I've hit up the gap. That's the only extra base hit I've ever had, I mean, home run in professional baseball. Norm Cash comes up now in the top of the sixth and makes it three to nothing. Even the people in the stands are having a tough time with the shots the Tigers are hitting today. Riles now faces the next batter, Willie Horton. Willie wraps it deep to short. A long throw to first by Maxville. Safe. It looks as though Cepeda has a beef. And let's take a look at that play from another angle. Watch that ball roll up the wrist as Cepeda tries to cradle it against his chest. A great call by umpire Stan Landis. Lefty Steve Carlton relieves Bryles and faces Jim Northrup, who singles. The Tigers are simply not swinging at the same stuff they faced in the first game. Wirt walks to fill the bases and upsteps McCollum. A sinking line drive to center seems to fool Kurt Flood. He can't hold it, and it's scored as a two-run single. Let's look at that play again. Two-run score, and the Tigers lead five to nothing. In the last of the six, Lolich faces the determined Cardinal team. Brock walks and steals second. With one out, Flood beats out a chopper when Lolich slips. That's Brock on third as Cepeda comes to bat. Orlando bloops a pop fly in the short left center that falls among three Tigers. Brock scores to make it five to one. A double play ends the inning. Detroit's Al Kaline opens the seventh with a clean single to left center. The Tigers come alive again. Pitching coach Billy Muffett tells them to get Ron Willis up in the bullpen. Meanwhile, Norm Cash has his sights on Carlton. Another single right down the middle. Willis pitching now with one out. Horton walks, and the bases are loaded. Northrop hits a double play ball right back to the mound. Dal Maxville scoops it up, steps in the bag, fires to first for a beautiful double play. But K-Line scores, and Mickey Lolich again has five fat runs to work on. It's the last of the eighth as Brock tries to get something started for St. Louis. A single with one out. Look at that daring lead by Brock. Lowlich tries to pick him off, but Lou immediately breaks for second. It's his second steal of the game and third of the series. With Joe Horner mopping up at the ninth, the Tigers rear up again. Kaline singles to left. Mayo Smith wants more runs. Norm Cash pushes a bunt just over the head of the on-charging Mike Shannon. Shannon still has everything under control, but he's pegged to second pulls Maxville off the bag. Detroit gets two extra insurance runs when a pair of walk force in two and makes it now eight to one in favor of the Tigers. 
last of the night. Mickey Lowich faces Ron Davis with two out. Davis lifts the pop-up. Cash moves under. That's it. The Tigers have even the World Series at one apiece. 